Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel to sit in the house with me. And look at extraordinary video commentary. Because <laughs> I just be cutting up. And then my family. My YouTube family. Up in the comments. They be cutting up too. Alright. And uh, like I uh, told one of my YouTube uh, family members. I don't know everything. But I'm glad I have my family. I think it was Natasha. Fam family, uh, a family member Natasha told me that she thought I was smart enough to know something about the law. And I had it really quick, fast, and I heard her tell her, Honey, I don't know everything, but I'm glad you're a part of my uh, family and that you can um, ed educate me on these things. Because people, I don't know everything. I don't. That's why I like to have conversation. I like to learn. I like to observe. I like different viewpoints on my own. So shout out to Miss Natasha. But keeping me straight and then giving me the true tea on the law. All right. But uh, like I said, I still think it's, to me, you know, the law is what it is. That's what uh, govern us. That's what we do to not have a chaotic world. But that's some bullshit. Because I feel like if you come out with a lawsuit and you get the persons or people, organization, uh, dragged in the court or arbitration or anything we were talking about the nene leak situation and her uh, uh dropping her case and this that and the third to me i feel like if you don't have your evidence and you're not sufficient and you have to drop your case on me on whatever you're trying to bring to court th that should not be an issue no more you can't bring me back because before you went and got your legal rights to sue me you should have had all your paperwork in order you should have had all of your evidence in order to present it and we go like that but um I, i'm just not understanding uh but it is what it is i tell you the law is built for crooks and people that got money and all of that it's not made and built for the uh poor person or the person that's just trying to make it do what it do you see what i'm saying we're not yet poor but we just a little our head is a little bit above that water okay and one thing happened we could be right down there with the pole but that just is what it is. I just wanted to shout out, <laughs> excuse me, our family member Natasha trying to school me, educate me on the ways of the laws when it comes to uh, taking a person to court and then withdrawing your uh, submission and uh, giving you the opportunity to come back at a later date to file those same damn charges. Okay? To me, it seems like double jeopardy, but it just is what it is. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Wendy Williams very quick, fast, in a hurry. So I've been meaning to do this video, but somehow I got sidetracked. And since I did one previously on her, this is going to be a follow-up to what the hell I was talking about. Okay, but you tell me, a nursing home patient can roam the uh, facilities and come looking disheveled and crazy, you know, in the care of nursing homes. Uh they shouldn't be roaming the, the hallways and byways and anything in their nursing uh, facility. But sometimes we do have those people that like to walk around like Wendy is doing. And she's barefooted. I'm like, can we get some slippers or can we get your little cute hospital uh, socks, child? What are you doing walking around? We got COVID out there. We got everything under the sun that you can catch that people don't walk in with their shoes and they've been everywhere with them and um contracted a lot of different uh we call it uh bugs and parasites under the soles of their shoes and using up that walking. I don't care how much it costs uh with you living there in that uh environment, but that you know, you already got 
what is it, lipidemia or something like that. And for people who buy those Versace rolls, they do not look like they're sturdy. They look like a cheap knockoff. But I know Wendy Williams, she ain't wearing no knockoff. But that whole sweater, I mean a sweater, but a, a garment she had on, it looks very cheap and worn. It don't have no plush feel too. If I'm spending that eight hundred to a thousand dollars on one uh, Versace roll, it better come plush. You know what I'm saying? It better be having a lot of fur around the collar and and it's thick, cause that's what I got it for. But maybe that's their summer edition of the Versace rolls. I just had to point it out. Now she's holding up her four fingers. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is she doing down there looking like that. Is anybody concerned or bothered with that? I mean, I know we just reason through life. We just tend to talk about certain uh, people on air, on our own YouTube um, community pages, or any social media platform. Or we just in the house chit chat. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has seen this mess. Now, that is a type of um, illness she has, which is lipidemia. Uh, but you can also get that from poor vein circulation. You know what I'm saying? And you can also get sores on your foot. And with that discoloration, it don't seem like she get much, uh, circulation in those legs. Because I just got, uh, diagnosed with, uh, having some vein troubles at the lower part, not at the upper part. But it, uh, it has, it makes me have a lot of swelling, uh, if I don't wear my compression socks. So, we got it under control now. We can start back exercising. My heart was good. I had my echocardiogram that they were, because I was um, saying I was tired. <coughs> Excuse me. I was tired a lot. And um, I just wasn't really feeling myself. You know what I'm saying? But it's probably, we went back to square one, which is my weight, which I need to be up and out and exercising and shit. But, you know, it takes time. You know, we can't put everything full force. You got to take it in, you know, small doses. And like I said, I ain't going to never, I ain't going to never like exercising because I ain't never like exercising when I was little. Okay. And I was much, much thinner. I was kind of underweight, uh, like a preemie uh when i was in my younger years but in my high school years and half of my college years i was thin you know what i'm saying well now nah, let me take it back no because i um i got married right after high school maybe two years after that and then i had my baby in in 91 and then it seems like i just could not keep the weight off i started having weight issues but when i was in high school elementary pre-k i was a thin little something but that's another story for another day. We're talking about Wendy and her disheveledness and her looking like a robot. Okay, that's what we're going to put it, a robot. And if y'all seen or y'all been watching the visuals, y'all saw the robotic person I had uh, next to one of Wendy Williams' pictures. And it seems very a striking resemblance to her being robotic. Okay. But we're going to go ahead and get in the story. We're going to tear it too long. Because uh, the one before this one, it was kind of lengthy. But I, I had a lot to talk about. I had a lot to talk about. Because we had to cover a lot of different people. But yeah, that one I'm looking at Wendy Williams like she crazy. You know what I'm saying? She know who she is. Because uh, she might be a tenant herself. And she's like, girl, why you do And I don't know. Maybe the lady gave her a, a, a hey, a shout out or something. And it was just, you know, uh, the robot of Wendy Williams to me. seemed like she needed to laugh you know it was like maybe they said some right words and she started to laugh but this really looks like a robot okay i'm just saying you know y'all already know how i feel ain't gonna, ain't gonna sit ain't no sister keep going dreading water with what my opinions are but it's where i'm worried about what y'all think it out there okay but that's a hot mess and the person that's supposed to be her guardian uh her caregiver where the hell is he at and they will not will sell me yeah, it is a Will Selby. Yeah, it is a Will Selby. Selby. Where is he? Because he should not have her going around now doing hand signs of the number four. Like she's trying to say, I'm brother woman from the fourth floor. You remember Martin? Seeing, but it was bro man from the uh, fourth floor. Now she's like she a bro woman at on the fourth floor. Okay? In an apartment building. But anyway, it was uh, written out, written up by several local um, uh, media stations in the States. Uh, but this one seems to come from 
akabon.com a-k-i-b-o-n.com and they um it said a staff uh editorial staff member they didn't really give her or him the opportunity to just say who they was that wrote this article so that's where we're getting it from they titled it wendy williams stands barefooted in a versace robe as her mental and physical health decline okay starring I'm blinking into the camera, staring and I'm blinking into the camera. Her cheeks uh, ro- rouge, her smile stretched wide. Wendy Williams wants the world to know that she's ready for a close-up. Co-host, I'm famous, she announces, and I'll be back. Trust me. <laughs> no, you won't. You're already gone, baby. But anyway, co-host, I'm famous, she announces, and I'll be back. Trust me. Uh, but if Williams' latest public appearance in a promo clip for her podcast the windy experience was meant to ally ally women ally fans fears that all is not well then it failed okay on thursday the former daytime television queen appeared to be fuddled and barefooted swaddled in her Versace robe late afternoon in the lobby of her downtown apartment building pictures obtained by dailymail.com show her speaking Aminatedly to staff before grinning a jaunty uh, farewell seemingly ob- oblivious to the strangeness of it all or the glances of others. So, all right. Now, DailyMail.com can reveal that despite her clear efforts to maintain a public profile, Williams' physical and mental health are far more precarious than previously known. Okay. The reality behind the recent string of bizarre appearances including a rambling interview on TMZ when she displayed her swollen legs and feet on camera. Another in which she made the outlandish claim that she had married a New York cop and a third where she was seen asleep at the Louis Vuitton store is a woman in crisis. Wendy Williams flashed a smile Thursday as sources tell Daily Mail dot com that her mental and physical health are in a decline the former daytime television queen appeared barefooted swatted in her versace robe late afternoon in the lobby of her downtown apartment building and of course i have given you several pictures to peek at and you get your uh your mind going to what could this be for wendy is this is what we're seeing uh is this is like something she pretty much called herself uh I guess her karma, most people are saying it is, which I'm like, good God, you know, to be out your mind, to not know anything, to be allegedly dead and just a robot running around here. Or, you know, I give y'all a picture of this robotics and it looks, if you put some, uh, what do you call it, Uh, a face to that, uh, over that top of metal piece of that robot I just showed you, it looks fairly close to windy, don't it? Okay, and I ain't saying it's windy per se, but I'm saying the whole structure of that robotic face tends to look like a human face if you put a real, you know, like some plastic or a mushy material to mold out a face is what I'm saying. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> My water went down the wrong way. <clears throat> okay, now we're here. We're here. I think we're here. Hold on. <clears throat> I think that's when she was sleeping at the little baton store. Passed out. Passed the hell out. Maybe the robot had to get a little, you know, downtime because it was, uh, you know, hyped up or something. And they hadn't worked out the kinks here and there. But, uh, yeah. That looks like a person out their mind or a person that has definitely been replaced. Okay, but going back, we say Wendy smiled at the camera, seemingly oblivious to strangeness or to the strangeness of her appearance and the glimpses of others. Speaking to DailyMail.com, one source said Wendy's life and her situation is far worse than people realize. She has been plagued with serious health challenges. Wendy Williams on the cold tile of her apartment lobby, barefoot. She's spoken openly about her struggles with lipidemia, which causes her legs and feet to swell. But goddamn, Wendy, you know, they look like it's crusted. You ain't got no moisture going on down there. I don't know if you're near amputation or not. 
happen. Uh, but it just is what it is. She need to have on some compression stockings. What she need to have on. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. The sad thing, like I said, some people feel like that's her karma. When you know, I'm like, hey, take the plank out of your own eye before you try to uh, tell somebody else to do what you feel they need to be doing. You know what I'm saying? It's easier said than done. You don't want to, you know, look at your situation, but you're over there trying to tell somebody else something. Okay, that's, you know, it's not like you're giving commentary. You're just making your opinion. Um, it's, you know, some people just, they, they don't want to take your opinion. They, they don't want to hear anything when they're doing something very precariously, you know. And uh, if you would think that Wendy's still alive and her caregiver is supposed to be taking care of her, from the top of her head to the soles of her feet and making sure she's good on all fronts of having food, shelter, and clothing, uh, they will be the one to blame for her coming out looking a hot mess like this, even though she's in her apartment building. We know she liked to be free. I don't know why she came back here. She should have stayed in Florida. Uh, she liked to go barefooted. But like I said, even with her having lymphedemia, what if she stepped on a tag or something? She'll probably be looking at... Um, amputation really but anyway um let me see when do we use captured asleep in the louis vuitton store last month with a glass of champagne nearby last month now see that's what i'm saying oh they say this alcohol and substance abuse is bad for us but yet people like louis vuitton and other high price high-end uh accessories garments stores why do you not any apple juice they serving you you know what i'm saying it ain't like a spark or ginger ale they give you hard liquor to drink champagne whatever you know and i'm like you shouldn't be drinking just to go purchase something hey next you're gonna bring out some food they're gonna sit up there and have them a dinner or a nice lunch on the company's dime and then they're gonna go shop lord i'm telling you see that's what i'm talking about you see how real that thing looks you just have to cover it up and put, you know, face your, a face on it with, you know, uh, skin texture is what I'm saying. Without um, using a better word, but that's the only thing that came to my mind. Yeah, the face that, or the makeup they're going to put on that robotic. But don't, that, that nose look right. That them ears look right. Those lips look right. The eyes are there. And uh, I was thinking, is this Kevin Jr.? And why are they dragging that uh, uh, cover for a bed or something? Why are they dragging it like that? I don't understand. I mean, people are just so nasty these days. You know, are you going to actually sleep on that shit? But anyway, I don't know if that was Wendy Williams and her son or not. But, I, you know, I was in her profile of images. And that's what popped up. I just had to have my family to tell me what the hell that was. Was that a mattress cover or something? What? And then they dragging it on the raw floor. I mean, the raw street. They ain't got nothing but germs and illnesses for you to probably partake partake of once you start acting crazy and you have to take you to the doctor and then you're exposed to all this poison all this bacteria because you're doing stuff stupid stuff like that okay um they said something something about which we all saw if you stay in the media realm or you have your uh, phone set to social media platforms uh one was stated or given their opinion while appearing to tmz to promote her podcast when Wendy gave a rambling interview and showed off her swollen legs and feet, bringing them to, into view. Yeah, we saw all that. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. And that is a, not that particular one, but the one before that, uh, that was Daily Mail catching a, uh, catch, capturing a picture that shows Wendy speaking emanatedly to the staff at the front desk of her luxurious building. And, uh, yeah mm-hmm oh boy i tell you it's a hot mess with wendy despite her ailments wendy has made an effort to save face and flash a smile smile she had been promoting a comeback but sources say it's not just premature but unrealistic williams uh herself has spoken openly about her struggles with lymphedemia and graves disease but the dailymail.com has learned the trouble runs much deeper Okay, or we're going all the way down that rabbit hole, if you know what I mean. According to her brother Tommy, 
She is geographically and emotionally isolated from her family. Meanwhile, her manager, celebrity jeweler William Selby III, admits that he has to fight her to manage her expectations. For a comeback, that is, to say the least premature. Uh, speaking to DailyMail.com, one source says Wendy's life and her situation are far worse than people realize. She has been plagued with serious health challenges. Now, if he's going to sit there and say he has to fight her in a sense, I don't know, verbally or maybe, you know, restraining her, holding her uh, to get any type of uh, I can't think of the word I want to say. But to actually just pin her down, I guess, for lack of a better word, to pin her down, talk to her like a logical person would talk to another logical person. But it seems like she's here, she's there everywhere, and he don't know what the hell to do with her, okay? Uh, but why is he even putting himself through that? You know, forget the podcast, forget anything else productively that she has to do in front of people. That's long gone. Cancel it all for this year and just work with her. And it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From the standpoint where uh, we're not going to be doing this per se. But we're going to fake like we're doing this to have her mind thinking we're doing it. You see what I'm saying? Because she's really not ready for anything. All right. But the bed. But I think she's being, if this is her now. Because y'all know my, my conspiracy theory about her. Uh, just says she was here with us still. And this wasn't a robot that we were looking at. Uh, when you have her in the hospital, especially with them feet, okay, or you have the personnel of the hospital resident doctor to come and make house calls, okay, why would we have her looking unmoisturized in them feet areas, okay? Because to me, they look like they need to be amputated because they look like they have caught some type of disease or illness down there but anyway we go back to the source it says sources claim her alcohol addiction worsened during her stink and rehab for cocaine addiction during her separation and divorce from her cheating husband kevin hunter speaking to dailymail.com williams manager selby admitted look at everything Wendy has lost. She lost her mother. She lost her show. She's gone through a divorce. She's lost her son to college. She has lymphedemia, thyroid issues. She's 58 years old. Okay, well, I'm sure Wendy already knew her husband was cheating. Death is going to come to everybody. Because uh, this is as long as you were born, you show we will die, and you're going to go back to dust. Uh, the, sh the loss of her show, she was supposed to be retiring anyway. Um, everybody goes through a divorce. Um, uh, well, I won't say everybody, but the majority of us have been divorced and remarried and this, that, and the third. That's something that could damage some people through eternity, which it seems like it would have damaged her, but what was pushed her over was the child, um, that the mistress had uh had meaning he was messing with her and Wendy at the same damn time uh that's piss poor that's right that's very piss poor so yes yeah, she's been through a lot of trials and tribulations some she brought on her own and some she didn't really have to deal with and some it just is what it is I'm talking about her career she has rode it as long as anybody could possibly roll ride something and done it well it was time for her to move on regardless if she would have had any of these issues. She needed to do something else. Because you could tell she really wasn't into the Wendy Williams show anymore. Uh, those who were avid watchers of the show. She even had things that she had to regurgitate back over. Because it just wasn't anything scandalous that she could report on. Okay. And let's see, we used to seeing Wendy pre prepped and on camera, but what you're seeing now is Wendy raw. She's going to have bad days, okay? Well, when she ain't getting much help, or she refusing to help, uh, it's, it, this is what we're going to get. Bullshit, okay? To many, it seems that she's having rather a lot of them uh, late and recent pictures. She appeared to have lost a dramatic amount of weight. 
uh, according to the source, many of Williams' troubles are as, direct, as a direct result of untreated alcohol addiction that they claim worsened during her stink and rehab for cocaine addiction in 2019 during her separation and divorce from her second husband, Kevin Hunter. Okay. Oh, she was married before? I didn't know that. Well, okay. Okay, to, uh, today DailyMail.com has learned that Williams' absence from her own set had been a long time coming and that her relationship with alcohol was at the heart of her many problems. Uh, according to one show insider, Williams' drinking wasn't new to her talk show team. She had already been abusing the booze while still married to Kevin Hunter, but he helped her hide it. Okay, so he's an enabler. So he's not really on her team. Hell, she probably ain't got nobody on her team that really gives a shit about her. You see what I'm saying? But if anything, Williams should uh, give a, a shit about herself. But like I said, neither here nor there. Sometimes uh, people can be damaged to ear repairment, to any type of repairment, when she has to face somebody or her mistress, and then her mistress have a child, which she probably wanted to have a child again, but she couldn't possibly because of health reasons that's just a real big slap in the face but uh some people can overcome you know diversities like that or um uh destruction type behavior like that and some people can't and then it just goes on about telling you know the, the bad side of what she's doing to hurt herself uh and then she's dealing with TV and the promoters and all this other stuff. But, you know, if she's not correctly on uh, point with her health, there's no way she could help another organization out with their social media or their television programming where she's uh, geared as the only in one host to do that uh, show, which was the Wendy Williams show. Now, I, I couldn't believe she didn't have her name trademarked. But I guess, you know, Kevin didn't think of that idea when they pitched the idea for her to have a show. So that's why she ain't getting much proper uh, help from the entity, which was Dead Mom Mercury. They used her until they couldn't use her up, okay? But we're not going to forget about Kevin's role, meaning her ex-husband and things he did to her and what was shown on public uh, TV and social, med uh, social media websites platforms of what her current ex-husband was doing out there with his current girlfriend slash fiance and then she ended up getting knocked up and putting that how they say uh put more salt on the womb that's already exposed okay but that's all i got for this video guys uh i don't know what to really say because y'all like i said y'all know how i feel about it we can get back in the comments and we can debunk or we could uh you all can let me see a different viewpoint with solid substantiated reasoning why I should, you know i should feel something else than what i feel you know what i'm saying but we have to uh, always keep the family in prayer but like i said from my other video i did i don't know who's around wendy you know what i'm saying it all look kind of devilish to me uh, all the way down to her son. Because like I said, why not tell us what the son was spending 100 k on? Was it school related? Or was it just a, a bunch of mess that he was buying out there? But And we always have to understand too, why did she not get him his own account? Okay, he's 18, he's going to college. He can have an account or at least be an authorized user on her account. But um, evidently he's not an authorized user on anything of hers because why did they not give him total guardianship over her, you know, expenses along with a mentor that's there to help him understand the laws of everything that governs his mother and her assets, you know what I'm saying? But he's all, you know, out going to college, being all free and stuff, and not looking at his mother, which is the mother is making sure that school get paid for that he's going to. Why couldn't he stay and go to school in New York City, NYU? You know what I'm saying? He couldn't make the grade. But then, you know, sometimes people don't have to make the grade. It's just who you know. And they overlook 
uh, certain stats that you have to qualify for, like your SATs and other commercial type shit to keep people out of school. Uh, instead of letting them go and train for whatever they feel like they need to train in as a career and let that be. You know, we ain't got to have all this math. We ain't got to have all this English or whatever. We're dealing with people. And if we just had a, 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 a what do you call it, a overhaul on the education system, I think it would benefit a lot of people because people don't want to learn how to do algebra and geometry and all that shit, especially if they're not even going to come in contact with doing that on a daily basis because everything you do needs to be reciprocated in order for you to continue to know how to do a certain function. You see what I'm saying? But if you're in like a human service field where you're really dealing with people's and their emotions and stuff, we don't need to know nothing about no... um, no, uh, math, okay? It it doesn't go that in depth. We don't need to know anything about algebra. So, it just seems like the social services feel, uh, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. Because unless you get licensed or registered, you're not making any money anyway, even though you go to school to do these things. And then it has to have a lot of things uh looked at when you have experience and stuff or being exposed to certain entities of the social worker field or a social services field but that's another story for another video i kind of got off tangent off target but i'm back i'm full circle now <laughs> and i will see y'all next video get down in those comments and help you help your family member out go on there and subscribe to me you know you want to subscribe y'all know you're on the fence but go ahead go on and subscribe i'm sure i'm gonna make you laugh one or two days out the week okay and definitely share my videos. But if you don't do nothing else, hell, like my video and subscribe to the channel, okay? And then I won't bother y'all, okay? I won't bother y'all too much. But then again, I'm lying. You know, I'm going to bother you every time I come on this tube and say, please uh, subscribe to me. <laughs> and if you find yourself unsubscribed for some crazy reason, that Facebook and YouTube just be messing up or something, <sighs> them two are the main folks. Because when I had my paparazzi, our business, me and my daughter, we use Facebook live, uh, religiously. And they still would not notify people that we were on. It was just always stomped into another with that platform. If you said a certain word, you you know, it's just, it's, the algorithm is fucked up. It's the same thing we got with YouTube. YouTube be going around uh, unsubscribing, folks. If they, if they look like they just a shell of an account, that they just really going around not really watching anybody, but they just, you know, signing up to, uh, to people's channels. And that happens, like, every quarter. Your stats start, you know, messing up. God, I know it's going to be some folks that definitely don't like you, can't get with you, and they're going to unsubscribe. I got that, got that good. Okay, get it, got it good. I should get a shirt that says, get it, got it good. But anyway, uh, but I, you know, I hopefully I only attract people that like, you know, my commentary. Uh, and not people that's like, okay, I'm going to sign up. But then they go unsign when they finish a video. <laughs> because I didn't uh, meet their standards or whatnot. No, I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about you be losing subscribers like 10 or 12 or 14, 20 people in one day. And you know that's not correctly. That's not right. You know what I'm saying? Unless you said something vicious or real malicious and had malicious intent toward a certain subject topic but like i said it's just what it is and it really is not our platform it's facebook platform and it's youtube platform we just living inside of the rules and regulations okay but they still can do whatever they want to do with their platforms okay but that's all i got for this particular video um and i will see y'all on the next i get this on my thing Oh my goodness. What's going on? Okay, there it is. Alright guys, y'all um I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all in the next video. And right now, I'm going to go to bed. I'm at twelve thirty four midnight.